What's up ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be making Bird Game 3 with AI and we're going to be putting ChatGPT, GPT-5 versus Gemini 3, Google's newest model to the test to see if you can make Bird Game 3 better. Now if you're not familiar with Bird Game 3, it's basically this like AI generated video game that's going viral on TikTok but it's all made by Sora so there's no actual video game that exists based off of it. Anyway the first thing we need to do is get an idea for the game and now I know other YouTubers who put AIs against each other just like one prompted but no I'm more of a methodical guy so you already know we're gonna have to give Cursor the best possible prompt. Okay, so I did some off-camera mining and I got some like research done off just by scrolling on TikTok to see what Bird Game 3 is all about. So I have this prompt right here, but also from the Reddit thread, I also want to include things like the stealth bar and things like that. So I'm basically just going to tell it to combine these prompts. So combine these prompts, keep the 5v5. Um, okay, now let's do paragraph format optimize for AI developers. Okay, now I have a pretty solid prompt, so let's start building. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the model first to using GPT 5.1. Now that I have this, we're gonna basically send the prompt and we're also gonna give it some extra help by adding a few images. So let's go to bird game three. Let's go to images and let's see if there's any, I guess, gameplay we can find. Okay, so let's copy this image and I need like a fighting scene. Okay, and this is too good. So let's paste this. Let's paste this in and let's let it build. Now we're not going to do any tokens or anything like that. Instead, we're just going to let it cook. I'm using all my tokens for these videos. So make sure to subscribe so I can actually afford Cursor Premium after this runs out. Okay, so it's asking me two questions. Okay, you know what? Just build it use whatever engine you want to okay it's been a few minutes and it says that the basic system is done so let's click keep all and let's see how do we actually run this all right so let's do npm i all right and now let's run it to see if it's actually good and i have errors okay so let's go tell cursor to fix these errors all right, so it says that it's fixed it. I don't know if that's true, but I guess we can always see it. And okay, what is happening? Yo, all right, at least we can move. That's kind of cool, right? Okay, why are we just like flat though? Oh my God. All right, this is, this has potential though. Like the 3D aspect is kind of cool. Okay, and let's see if I can actually grab an egg. How do I pick this up? I don't know how to pick up an egg. Um, it's probably not one what how do i pick up an egg okay all right now i'm gonna i'm gonna give it one extra prompt to prove itself let's let's see if this works base is going now at actually i'll do npc players after let's let's not give it too much all right so apparently it made some more changes i'll be the judge of that okay what is happening okay so those birds are just going in the complete opposite direction oh my god it tried to make a bird like with like shapes and stuff i can kind of see the beak and stuff okay um let's see how can i grab this egg i, I still don't know how oh i can pick it up now okay 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 fire fire and it says i'm blue team in the top right i don't know how i'm supposed to know that but it's okay and now i just drop the egg right do i have to like actually oh and i just captured it perfect okay there's some physics here like i can pick up eggs which is pretty cool um but yeah honestly it's not terrible like i feel like if i give it some more prompts i don't think it can crack the design though because i don't know it's kind of chopped right now like everything looks kind of weird but other than that it's not as bad as i thought it would be okay now we're gonna open up a new cursor window and we're gonna basically give this exact same prompt but to gemini so we're gonna go from gpt5 to let's go to gemini 3 pro now this is very expensive so i'm gonna get flamed for this and I probably won't be able to code for the rest of the month, but it's okay. Anything for science. Anything for bird game three. Let's copy this prompt again. And let's send it in. And hit enter. Now I don't know why browser popped up. I don't think I did that, but it's okay. I'll let I'll let Gemini 3 cook. It's also asking me to like confirm that it knows what I want to do. But I'll say do whatever you want, just build it. 
Thanks. And hit enter. Alright, now one thing I've noticed is that Gemini is taking a lot longer. Like, it's been a few minutes now. I wish I had like a timer or something, but this is definitely taking longer than what GPT was taking. Okay, and it looks like it's done. It's telling me to do this, but I'll just do it in my own terminal just in case I can debug if needed. So let's do that right now. Okay, um, I don't know. It's saying that there's some severity vulnerabilities. I don't care. I'm just running this. <laughs> okay, and it says it's ready. So let's check this out. Okay, no errors in the console yet. Oh, okay, and we actually have a menu now. Okay, and look, it actually kept in the, the thing. Let's go with Eagle. and Let's hit play. Oh my god, I'm so fast. Yo, two. Okay, so this is like low-key hard to control. Wait, the like, the mouse does not work. Like, I can't change my direction. Okay, but there's actually other players in it, as you can see. And there's an egg right here. Okay. How do I pick up this egg? Oh my god. Okay, well, I gave GPT like two, two, um, what you call, two prompts. So let's do that for this as well. One, the environment looks really happy. Okay, now it says some echo, like, I don't care bro, why are you telling me this? Just let me run my code and call it a day. Anyway, let's keep all this and let's see if it is updated. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now it's actually slowed down a lot better. Now when I turn, this shit is lagging, but I can actually pick up stuff now. Okay, I picked up the egg. It's, it's not on my hotbar anymore. Okay, why is this constantly ticking? Like, like what? Every second, it like retakes and I'm falling through the map right now. And I still don't look like a bird, like what? Okay, anyway, control this dive, that just makes me go down. Um, okay, this is low-key hard. Like, I just fell through the map. Like, this is like low-key less playable, like, than the other one. And I'm really surprised, because I thought Gemini 3 was supposed to be crazy this game. Like... The map is better though. This is just unplayable, I can't lie. Like, this is not Bird Game 3. This is just like, Noob Game 1. Okay. Okay, but at least now, like, I can actually move with my mouse. That's kind of good. Anyway, let's refresh and let's try to play someone else. Like, an Owl's Recon Scout. Let's see how that- Okay. Okay, so exact same. Hummingbird? Yup, they're all the exact same. Okay, and the ticking is still there. I think that just ruined it for me. I think I'm gonna have to give GPT-5 the win here. Yeah, I think my final conclusion is that GPT-5.1 is beating Gemini 3 Pro, which I was not expecting at all. I've designed websites with Gemini 3 and the UI UX is a lot better here than like GPT-5. But for this test specifically, I think that GPT-5 clinched the win. Anyway, thanks for watching. Comment down below what games you want me to test next. What different video ideas, I'm low-key flexible. Um, and yeah, without further ado, subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.